Half the month of only having access to Maracas Valley through Riverside Road in St. Joseph, the bridge on the other end of Maracas Royal Road has officially been reopened. The history of the bridge is still unclear, but Works and Transport Minister Rohan Sinanan said while repairs had to be made, some of the bridge's history was maintained at a cost of $16 million. This is one of the few remaining structures like this in Trinidad, and I understand from the consultant, any part of the world. This is an old colonial bridge. And what we try to do here is to maintain the bridge. There were some challenges with the land acquisition if we had to build a brand new bridge and the length of time it would have taken. So what the engineers decided to do is to try to maintain this bridge. He thanked residents for being patient as the rehabilitation works took longer than expected. Once the bridge, they started to work on the bridge, they recognized that by taking off the asphalt layer and the concrete, the, the beams underneath were totally deteriorated. So we had to actually extend the scope of work and extend the, the, the actual time that the bridge would have taken. The bridge will only be able to take a 20-ton load. Referring to last week, where a total of 160 tickets were issued to truck drivers for transporting goods in excess of the weight required, Minister Sinanan said stiffer penalties will be coming. The fine is currently $750. What I intend to do shortly is to go to Cabinet, and Cabinet will then take it up to the Parliament, whatever is the, the requirement, to have that fine increased to 5000 and to impound the material. We also intend to bring in more traffic wardens and ask the licensed officers to be a lot more vigilant on that. He said work on the Maracas Valley Riverbed will continue. Marie Hall, TTD News.